uh, begin by adjourning today's meeting in memory of Jennifer Adams Brooks, who passed away on April 11th at the age of 63. Jennifer was born in Chicago, Illinois, and raised in the West Chesterfield, a neighborhood on the far south side of Chicago. Jennifer grew up in the midst of a segregated society, which ultimately helped her frame her desire and commitment to community, involving a, a strong commitment to civic engagement. Jennifer emerged from her early history without anger, but with a determination and an enthusiasm for change. She was excited to create change, and she became the first African-American senior class president of her predominantly white high school in Morgan Park High School in, in the same area. After high school, Jennifer came to San Diego to earn her bachelor's degree in urban and rural studies and communications from the University of California, San Diego. Jennifer next moved to the Big Apple, New York City, where she took an advertising and media relations position for a major cosmetics line. In 1982, Jennifer returned to San Diego to open her own marketing and advertising and public relations firm. Her considerable skill had her much in demand. Over the next three decades, Jennifer excelled in public affairs and legislative positions. I've met Jennifer first when she was serving as chief of staff for then city councilman Wes Pratt. And then subsequently, she served as chief of staff for then assemblywoman Susan Davis. Most recently, Jennifer has served as executive vice president and chief of staff for the San Diego Housing Commission, where again she excelled. Throughout her life, Jennifer was tremendously active in local civic and community affairs. Just at the San Diego Foundation alone, she served as chair of the Board of Governors and also chaired the Foundation's high profile, Our Greater San Diego Vision Committee. Despite a packed schedule and demands on her time, Jennifer always made sure to find balance in her life. She was known for baking the best lemon bars on the planet, for her infectious laugh and her great sense of humor, which helped her enormously with her marriage to, as you may know, her husband, Leon Brooks. Leon has served as a planning commissioner for many years and has a, been a pers close personal friend of mine for some time. Jennifer survived by her husband, Leon, her daughter, Singleton, her grandson, Grayson, and her best friend, Elizabeth Clark Adams. Jennifer led a life of leadership and exceptional public service that reflected an undying commitment to others. She was a great friend who leaves behind a legacy of deep professional and uh, uh, professional accomplishments and relationships that created a far better San Diego.